Hello guys, I'm Sammy from Acrobat.net and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to hack games or other apps such as this one, which is called Tiner, on your Android device, phone, tablet, whatever it may be, using a little app called SB Game Hacker. Now, just before we get started, in order for this to work, you need a rooted device, alright? I rooted this one, which is an emulator, but it works with real tablets and phones as well. Obviously, I would recommend if you've never re actually rooted a phone or, or um, used memory hacking software on your phone, then it's, it's recommended to use an emulator at first because the thing about the emulator is like if you screw up, if you do something wrong, you can just, you know, basically uninstall it, reinstall it and start over again whereas with your actual phone that's not possible I used King Root and Lucky Patch as you can see right here um, use whatever rooting software whatever system app installing software is uh, is popular in your age right I mean this is 2016 17 so but that will change obviously alright so let's get started um, you're gonna wanna get SB Game Hacker, all right? The best way of finding it is just Googling SB Game Hacker APK or using whatever kind of search engine that search engine that you're using. Um, there's a bunch of sites that claim to be the official one. I'm not actually sure which one is the official one. The one I got is from gamehacker.co, which, which works just fine. I don't think it's the original, but it works just fine, all right? You use whatever you can find online. All right, now here's what you basically do. You download this APK, you load it onto your SD card, and you install that APK as a system app using your system app installer. In my case, I'm using Lucky Patcher, so I go to rebuild and install. I go to my SD card, Windows, because this is a PC. I go to pictures, and here we got the it should be in here SB Game Hacker SB Game Hacker 3.1 that's what I'm gonna be using right here so you get it from your SD card you go to your path from your SD card and you install it as a system app this is important right this is why you need to have a rooted phone for this to work because you need to install it as a system app with root privileges do you really want to make this application a system app yes sir I do okay now I'm gonna reboot I'm just gonna skip to the point until I've ha I've had this whole thing rebooted. This is actually important. I would recommend you reboot your phone, your emulator, or whatever. All right. As you can see, we are now restarted. Everything is working. Lucky Patcher is working correctly. As you can see, SB Game Hacker or just Game Hacker is a system app right now that I can start in my Patcher. Tiny Miner is running again, and we're ready to go. So here's what you do. You open up your Game Hacker system app using whatever launcher you have, whatever installer launcher program you're used to install the system app. So launch app. And yeah, there's this whole Chinese um, service agreement, which whatever, yes, I don't even, I don't even know. Uh, obviously, it will have to get root privileges. Okay, allow. All right, root access enabled which basically means you're ready to go. Don't worry about it, it's not actually Chinese, that's just a, a kind of example interface right here. Um, it's not actually Chinese, right? I think the original developer of the app is Chinese. I could be wrong about that one, but yeah, it works just fine in, in English. All right, here's basically what will happen. This little wrench, monkey wrench thingy stuff will be at the um, upper left corner of your screen. So all you basically do is you go into your game. Um, I'm just going to go into the shop so I'm able to spend money. That's actually important because you need to change the value later on. So you click the little wrench thingy and now you get to scan for a value, all right? Now I want to I want to change my money value. So at the moment this is at 300. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be scanning for that value. Obviously, it's going to find more than one value that is at 300 right now, but then we're going to change this value in game and scan again among those values that have previously been 300 to find the correct 
values corresponding to your money and then we're going to change them. That's basically how it works. So just let's go search. And we found 223 results. Obviously, those are too many. If we were to change all of those, we would basically crash the game. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to get out of here and just change the money value. So I'm just going to buy a few ladders in order to change the value. So let's say we buy three ladders. We're now at 250, uh, 85 gold so basically we go in here and we scan now for 285 or whatever your new money value or whatever kind of value you want to hack maybe all right and now you scan for that and we are left with one result awesome that's exactly what you want to see and now basically you can edit this value by clicking or tapping the green little edit button right here um, value addition, which isn't good English, but you know, we, we do what we do. Um, addition, well, value editing is probably what you would want to call it. So I'm just going to go for 9,999,999. It might be a little bit too high. Uh, keep in mind, if you go too high, you might crash the program or you might go into the negative, but who cares? We're just going to do a proof of concept. It will not change instantly. You need to change your, actually, it has changed instantly. In some cases, it will change instantly, let me correct myself, but not in all cases. In some cases, you have to actually change your money value again for it to update, all right? Well, I ate crow there very quickly, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But as you can see, I now have 9,999,999, my tongue is getting tired. And if I buy something, as you can see, it goes off of that, that value. So I basically have unlimited money now. And by the way, this can be used on mostly single player games. Okay, don't expect this kind of hack to work, to work for like um, Clash of Clans or online games. Like, I don't even know what's popular right now. But the thing is about the online game stuff, especially the ones where you are, where you're pitched against other players and so on. Um, in those cases, the the values, for example, your money or your whatever kind of resources, are stored on the game server. All right, um, that's the, the big difference in there, which means they cannot actually be hacked from your device. So they're basically unhackable. And don't trust anybody who tells you that they have some kind of generator. All right, to give you unlimited money for online games, it doesn't work. They're trying to scam you. All right. Um, this kind of cheat works for games that are single player only, usually, and that you just download, you don't need an actual uh, internet connection to play them, alright? Those are the games that this generally works for. Um, there are cases where the values are encrypted, so if, if you were to see, for example, 200 here, um, encryption is, is maybe a little bit of a big word, it's more like hidden in a way by multiplication. So what some developers will do is if the value in here is 200, let's say, they will um, multiply it by eight in the memory, all right? So it's stored in the memory as eight, as, as like, as 800, but in reality it's 100, all right? Or it's stored in the memory as 1600, when in, in reality it is shown as 800. Those are the little tricks that some developers will be using. They'll usually multiply by like two or by eight, um, sometimes by 10, sometimes by 100. Um, that's the kind of tricks that they'll be using to keep cheaters away. Uh, that doesn't happen as often though on, on Android as of yet, okay? Because memory editing isn't as popular as of yet. All right, so. That's basically the way you can use SB Game Hacker, the Chinese hacking software, to cheat in your games. Um, if you're asking yourself if there are any ways to cheat in games like this without a root, well, n not really. Um, well, there is there's safe game editing, which is a lot more complicated than this. So I might go into that a little bit later. It doesn't work for a lot of games, but it does work for some. And it's, but it's, it's, it's really complicated, uh, but it doesn't require a route. So I might go into that later. Thanks you guys for watching. I hope you guys have learned something 
as I've said, you can find SB Game Hacker by just Googling SB Game Hacker. I don't actually know which one of these is the actual official website. Maybe um, Geek Peak Software is a trustworthy site. I, I don't even know. Just I, I got mine from gamehacker.co and it works just fine. Anyways, thanks you guys for watching. See you guys soon and have fun.